Dave, thank you. A local teen on a mission to put smiles on kids' faces through Band-Aids. 7 Action News reporter Kiara Hay shows us how this small gesture is making a huge impact on children in the hospital. It gave me a little piece of bravery. Since the age of 13, Eve Collin has been battling a blood disorder, a condition that requires monthly mandatory blood draws. Obviously getting poked for, you know, getting blood drawn is never fun. It's never, you know, a delightful experience. Although she dreaded walking into the clinic, Colin says she always left with a smile and a sticky symbol of completion. Knowing that I always had the choice of a fun band-aid kind of added an element of surprise and it always gave me something to look forward to. Shifting her focus from the fear of her blood work results to choosing what frozen character would cover her jab. But as Colin grew older, she realized that simple joy was not guaranteed. The clinic only receives character band-aids if they're donated. And so without a donation, children will just receive like a little silk piece of tape. So with the help of her friends, family, and the Birmingham School District, she started up a collection of colorful and character-based Band-Aids. We have ones for people with different skin tones. We have ones for different ages. We have cute ones that wrap around your finger. It looks like there's like an animal giving you a hug. Last year, Colin donated 11,000, and this year, she's topping 16,000. That will last us a long time. That will probably last us for the rest of the year. Holly Swigert has worked at the Scandalorous Family Center at Beaumont for four years, and she knows firsthand how this small stamp can inspire the biggest smile, an experience Colin was able to see for herself. And one of them pulled their sleeve up and said, look, I got like a dinosaur today. And they started comparing them. And it just, I was able to see that instead of saying, oh, I got a poke today, I got my blood drawn, they were able to focus on something else that could make them happy. If you would like to donate Band-Aids or help the hospital out, we'll have a link to their wish list on our website at WXYZ.com. In Royal Oak, Kiara Hay, 7 Action News.